What's up in the loop? It's Hyde checking in from Camden Park, West Virginia. Small, small little park here. Never been, new park for me. So always excited to check out a new park. We're gonna go in, we're gonna check out the, the couple roller coasters, the dark ride, maybe even the chairlift. Let's go on in. Fun looking ticket. Fun looking little ride. I remember riding these little hand cart rides as a kid. Don't know if they would allow me on it here. But we are now in Camden Park. I will note, it's normally $19.99 during the week. On Saturdays, it goes up to $20.99. So just plan according. You are gonna to wanna to budget accordingly you come here on a Saturday. We're gonna go over this way. My approach is always go for the rides. You wanna ride the big rides first. Been burnt way too many times trying to do fun stuff first. So, haunted house here. This is debated whether or not it is an actual roller coaster, similar to the one at Conneaut Lake. It does have some unpowered sections that feature gravity. So, some people count it. I'm going to count it. You can see the chain lift right back there. Haunted house. Uh, Credit or not credit, it is very similar, if not the exact same as the Devil's Den at Conneaut Lake Park. Surprisingly, it's a little bit longer than you think, and there's a couple nice little paintings inside. So you go out of the station, go up the little lift, turn on the building outside on the corner of the building there, drop down that like 10 foot drop, and then the rest is gravity driven, a bunch of switchbacks and the ride. I'm not kidding when I say it's at least like 30, 40 seconds back there. Um, Funny thing is, it is manually operated, 100% manually operated. They push you to start, they coast on gravity, and then they, they put out their hands to stop you. Not the job I would want, but hey, props to them. And also, let's just uh, give a shout out to this exterior here. Uh, pretty cool. They're also playing Don't Fear the Reaper. Um, and the rest of the mix here is uh, like haunted, spooky music. Fun stuff. So just got off the Big Dipper. Pretty, uh, pretty wild uh, little coaster. It's definitely uh, seen some better days. You can feel going up the lift here. The, the track ain't straight and it shows. Structures definitely seen better days. Let me run up and catch some good video here. Second half of the ride features a tunnel on this turnaround. Really the only crazy pop of air time you get is coming off this first drop here. Coming out of that tunnel over that little hill there, there's a little bit more air time. All right, folks, I've been all over the world. I've ridden some shady roller coasters in Asia, some shady coasters in Mexico, but I've never seen a coaster like that has like a trim brake maybe. It's attached to a rope that on the end of the rope, it's a bunch of junk. You got like a cinder block, some spare parts. They try to hide it behind this white thing, but uh, you still clearly see when you walk by here. Cinder block attached to a rope. It looks like it might be the anti-rollback. Oh no, the, that, well, let's, let's see. Cinder block attached to a rope to where the chain is. And that, that look, it's some kind of trim so I think instead of running air compressor to that trim, the trim is being controlled by the amount of weight, or in this case, junk, attached to the cable. Here comes the train. Let's see if my theory is correct. If that does appear to what the case is. It's like uh, the rope and the junk is keeping the pressure that normally would be played by the role of air compression on the brake, the trim brake there. Seen it all, just when you think you've seen it all rather, there's this. For all the old stuff, the park does have some fairly new rides. Both the slingshot coaster here and this uh, flat ride are relatively new. So good to see the park still investing. Um, say what you will, the SBF Visa, but for a park this size, that's a pretty big investment. So uh, good to see that they must be still making money or something.
Balloon bust, fairly typical. Duck pond, fairly typical. Cat toss? Can't say I've heard that one before. You throw cats. I love it, unique. What I always like about small parks is, it doesn't cost a lot to get in, and then you're not paying a lot when you get in there. A couple bucks for ice cream or a shake. I'll water a little bit on the pricey side, ruins my, uh, my theory there, but everything else, fairly reasonable. It's like a, not your typical CP Huntington train here. Track isn't what I would call straight, but uh, I always love a good train ride. It looks like it goes around this whole kind of lower part of the park here. Kind of see, we'd be right up there and the train kind of goes around this whole part there. One of the other things I love about these smaller parks is just how cartoony they feel. They feel like roller coaster tycoon. And unfortunately, Brian standing over here looking at a coaster that has no attendance on it. We might not be getting the fourth and final credit today. What's the verdict? The pressure sounds like it's running. It might just have like one staff member going between all these. All right. Maybe there's still hope for the Little Dipper. Let's take a look while no one's here and we don't have to be trying to creepily film. Uh, interesting one row of seats per car here. I like the little artwork on the side of it. And you know, they were RMC and reverse RMC and things before it was cool. You got the steel structure and the wood track here. Old school little log flume here. See the logs are like, trough is built right into the ground. You can't really see where it is. You see it right there. Has one drop and a little bit larger drop. More little dipper footage here as we continue walk deeper and deeper into Camden Park here. It's a very small coaster, obviously. Um, I wonder, I do wonder if, uh, you know, sometimes these small little coasters surprise you with some airtime. So I don't end up riding this and you don't see any more mention of it in the video. Uh, please drop me, drop a note in the comments. Tell me how much I'm missing by not, make me jealous, make me feel like I need to come back here at some point. This is that part of the park that probably is just closed because of staffing reasons. You have a tilt-a-wheel whirl over here that looks maybe half built. Another flat ride over there. This is the area all surrounded by the train. More view of the walk flume, like, like I said, the flume's built like right into the ground, which is kind of neat. And then a spinning, not pirate ship, but looks like a steamship that you see in New Orleans. Kind of neat. To properly show you everything in the park, I have to show you everything, and this is the pony cart ride. Not running. The whip. Old school fun. Is there money in there? Yeah. What do you what, what do you mean you have to pay uh, to use the restroom? Tell There's us about coin, it. coin slots to get into the bathroom stalls. I don't want to film inside, so tell me more about this. There's slots in the door, put a coin, you twist the handle. I, I don't think you actually have to pay, but they're still on there. I am not going to film because that would be very weird, but I'm going to go in and find this out for myself. And now we are on the Sky Ride. It's really cool here. They have certain ones that are reserved for the, the aerial acrobat show where they swing off. No, I'm just kidding. Only about half, the, half of them are on here. I can give you an overview of the park. The parking lot is over here to the right, and basically what you see is what you get. I mean, the parking lot at that rate is about half full. See, there is a, a pavilion right here. We do have a mini golf course down here that I haven't shown in the video yet, um, though it looks like it is closed. A little overgrown. Not a bad course, but uh, I just don't see where I would get a putter. So this is the lower half of the park or the upper half, but I don't know what the technical term is here. I was showing off just a few minutes ago with the Little Dipper that is unfortunately closed. The lock flume and some other flat rides back there. The train goes around this whole kind of section back over here. A little more look at the mini golf. Nice view of the Little Dipper. 
So right over there, kind of before that hill you see out in the distance, that is the Ohio River. The same river that runs through Cincinnati and Louisville. And just kind of put in perspective, the top of that hill over there is I-64. So if you live somewhere along the country on I-64, uh, maybe you didn't realize that Camden Park is right off I-64 here in uh, West Virginia. Yeah, the Ohio River right over there. It is a sky ride to nowhere. And just like that, you see Brian. Brian, how's it going? Going good. Well, tell the people what you think of Camden Park. I love it. A few more rides back here, including everyone's favorite, Flyers. Not my favorite. I think I say this every time I film a video with Flyers. Don't quite get the love of them. So if you love them, defend them in the comments. I mean, you're, are you a park if you don't have a classic fair ride? They do have one restaurant that does look closed at the moment, but they do have the West Virginia Grill. And an old school scrambler with a pretty fun sign. It probably looks kind of neat at night. And Brian had heard that there is good merchandise in the gift shop, but it does not look like we are going to be going in the Happy Clown Toy Store today, are we, Brian? I think this was just toys. Oh, that's just toys. Yeah, I think they have an actual. Oh, they have an actual gift shop. All right, well. This is uh, the main midway here. You can see we turned on that as the entrance coming up here. I do have an arcade. It does not look open. Brian, is the arcade open? Let's try to go in. Nope. No go to the arcade. Do look like they have ski ball in there, which is always a good time. I give them props for that. Got your regular coffee mugs and your shot glasses and your picture frames. creepy clown mascot guy from the sign. Doesn't look so creepy here. He actually looks pretty friendly. I haven't had the stuff. I always love when parks uh, go all in on who they are. Hey, you got them on the front sign, embrace it, right? For six bucks, this little model of the uh, haunted house might be the souvenir they get from me. Pretty neat. And that is going to wrap up our quick visit here at Cannon Park. And quick but we showed you everything it is interesting to kind of see some of these parks and like think back to maybe some of their glory days it looked like there maybe some more stuff on the lake down there when this park's probably pretty hustling and bustling they have you know a band playing in the picnic area you see it being quite a fun little summer uh summer hangout here but with some of the rides closed and you know i'll be honest it is just as evident as this stand right here not in the best condition um, but with, like I said, showing off the new rides, they are still investing in it. So you wouldn't be spending, you know, kind of know what those SBF visas cost. And they're not cheap. So if they're spending money on that and some other rides, that's really good to see. Overall, I would say it's worth the visit, especially if you're a fan of like old, old school roller coasters. Big Dipper there with the NED Centrally Fire Trains is really neat. You know, one of the few coasters with that still left. Um, so that's probably the main reason you come, as well as the haunted house right there. Um, I wouldn't expect much more. This is definitely uh, what I would consider a pit stop park. We were here for about 45 minutes and did everything we wanted to. If we wanted to maybe get a few re-rides, maybe an hour, hour and a half here tops. Um, not a lot of food options, so I would probably recommend maybe finding uh, some food options in the neighboring cities. Um, and going that route instead. But yeah, definitely would recommend doing a pit stop here if you are a fan of uh, some old style wooden roller coasters and, you j and you're like me and you like that old style kind of park charm where you know this park's not gonna be just like any old Six Flags or Cedar Fair Park. So thanks for watching guys. Be sure to like and subscribe. We appreciate all the support.